born a citizen of the old Sith Empire, Odeo Viken spent the first few years of his life enjoying the end of a golden age under the legendary Emperor Marco Ragnos. But everything changed in 5000 BBY when the Emperor died and was succeeded by the impatient and short-sighted Naga Sadao who defeated his rival Ludo Crush for leadership. Eager to wage war against their ancient enemies, Naga Sadao led the Sith fleet and army to war against the old Galactic Republic and Jedi Order. Unprepared for the might of this galactic superpower, the Empire was entirely defeated, seeing the Emperor flee into exile and the Republic fleet journey to purge Imperial space of Sith influence. Awaiting the destruction of their civilization, the Imperial population, including Force and non-Force sensitives, were rescued and evacuated by Dark Lord Vitiate, the most powerful Sith Lord remaining, who led them on a 20-year journey in search of a new homeworld. Their mysterious benefactor Vitiate was previously a well-respected dark side scholar, so powerful he was granted his position and titles at the age of 13 by the Emperor Marco Ragnos himself. Taking no part in the Great Hyperspace War, Vitiate used their defeat as an opportunity for advancement and personal evolution, conducting a ritual in which he sacrificed 8,000 Sith Lords who absorbed the force energy of an entire planet, becoming a seemingly immortal being of immense power. With this newfound strength, he gathered the remaining population and left Sith space. Odile Viking was just a boy when he witnessed their mighty empire collapse in less than a year, ultimately boarding one of Vitiate's rescue ships on Korriban. While he no doubt was grateful to be safe from their enemies, Viking was left with a burning hatred for the Galactic Republic. This sentiment then instructed the rest of his life, as from that point forward, he dedicated himself entirely to restoring the Empire and seeking vengeance against their ancient enemies. Throughout the 20-year journey searching for a homeworld, Vakin began his career by eagerly training in navigation, becoming one of the most respected pilots of the Exile fleet. When at last their voyage ended, they settled on the planet Droman Kos, where Viking's dedication to making a difference only amplified, joining the Imperial military to take on a central role in its early formation. Once the government of the reconstituted Sith Empire was established, the Emperor retreated into the shadows, offering only a general overview for his vision of the Empire, while spending most of his time on the higher pursuits of the Force. This left most of the administrative and day-to-day -day duties to a dark council of powerful Sith Lords, each charged with governing different sectors of society. Yet they were also great Force users, with a clear bias toward those interests, focusing most of their attention on dark side pursuits, including their own personal political power and position within the Empire. And so it was Odile Viking who threw himself at the problem, taking a position of leadership to organize the non-Force sensitives, restoring order and ensuring the allegiance of the larger population. With the approval of the Dark Council, Viking organized a draft, enacting compulsory military service, not only to boost their military capacity, but also to train their population in how to be proper Imperial citizens. Shaping this army toward his vision of the perfect soldiers, Viking created a rigorous training regimen that enforced discipline, loyalty, and respect for hierarchy, hosted live ammo exercises in the dangerous jungles of their planet, practiced near constant drills, and held war games. Even non-combatants were trained in basic weapons, survival skills, and first aid. To test his new fighting force, Viking led his army to clear a territory of dangerous wildlife so they might build the capital of Cass City. Not only did the Imperial Army successfully conquer the area, records claim Odile Viking himself killed a rabid Tarentatech beast on the site where they built the Imperial Citadel. These dangerous Sith spawn were so deadly they were later dubbed Jedi Killers, making the non-Force sensitive officers' feet all the more impressive. Becoming famed for his bravery, loyalty, martial prowess, and administrative genius, Odile Viken was widely admired and respected by all, yet it was his next project that truly won acclaim from the four sensitive leaders of the Empire. With permission from the Dark Council, Viken set to work building ships and recruiting officers for a mighty Imperial fleet worthy of a galactic superpower. Yet this was a monumental task Viking realized could not be achieved in his lifetime, and so he laid the groundwork, set up the system, and built the infrastructure to ensure the project lived on past his death and was eventually completed. Using his army as a labor force, soldiers were divided into teams for resource extraction, construction, and engineering, resulting in the first line of Star Destroyers produced by their growing empire. 
For his tireless efforts and extraordinary accomplishments, Odile Viking was formally recognized by the Emperor and Dark Council, naming him the first Imperial Grand Moff, becoming the most powerful and influential non-Force sensitive in the Empire. A dedicated officer even in his later years, an elderly Grand Moff Odile Viking led his fleet to war in 4904 BBY, dying on the front lines while seeking the conquest of an alien species to expand the Empire. Remembered as one of the legendary founders of their civilization, both the Imperial Army and fleet carried on his legacy, with many of his creations and contributions surviving over a thousand years. Naming an important space dock in memory of this great hero, the Empire also made Viking's Torch, an eternally burning flame in the jungles of Droman Kos, meant to represent the Empire's undying dedication to revenge against their ancient enemies. In the end, Viking's efforts paid off and dream came true when over a thousand years later in 3681 BBY, his Imperial Army and fleet invaded and defeated the Republic and Jedi in the Great Galactic War, finally taking vengeance for their loss in the Great Hyperspace War and the original banishment of the Sith founding leaders many years earlier. Even Jedi histories speak of Odile Viking, considering him a key figure in the Sith Empire's early formation and one of the pivotal men that ensured the general population's loyalty to their oppressive dark side leaders.